Okay, just a little side update here. I managed to get the interior tub in, but after about th over three plus hours of uh, scraping and shaving and sanding the top of the side here, and especially on the driver's side of the interior tub to get it in, um, I, first, of course, I put the windows in. They're separate pieces, one front, back, and one on each side are separate pieces. And I think these side windows here are a little too big. They interfered with the uh, installation of the pushing the interior tub up inside. I had to shave off quite a bit off the top of the interior tub here to get it to fit in properly so that uh, it would, it's still a bit off here, but so these would uh, touch the little edge on the inside there. And then the two points here would, would sit, would, it was rocking back and forth all the time. And it took a lot of chipping and sanding and cutting and scraping to get it to fit. Um, I was watching Dylan's video when he built this uh, model kit a few, uh, some time back, uh, an NYS modeling. And he went on and on about the fact that he didn't have any issues with this kit and it all went together very easily. So I went back and looked again and I noticed he, he didn't put these side windows in. So if you want to make a lot quicker, uh, easier build, just leave those side windows out. Um, yeah, it caused me quite a bit of time to, uh, to shaving and, and getting the interior tub in. So now I have to shoehorn the uh, engine and chassis up under that and re it requires spreading these sides and trying to fit the engine and the fan, uh, fan up into the... Uh, Red rad assembly there. So stay tuned. Hopefully that will get done next. Okay, I'm back again with another quick little update. I've got a little bit more progress done. I've got the uh, upper and lower rad hoses installed, and the heater hose. I kind of just had to uh, slide that around till I found out where it would fit. I knew it went into this hole here in the firewall, and I kind of slid it around and under the um, upper rad hose. And kind of popped into place. It's kind of sit on there. Just put a drop of glue there. It's almost friction fit. I guess I got the lower rad hose in as well. That wasn't too bad. I got the steering assembly in here. And I was able to mount the uh, front shocks. Um, there's a little pin on the end of the shock that's supposed to go in here, I guess. But there's no hole to put it in. I tried to scrape away some of the paint. But I ended up just putting a drop of super glue here to hold it in place. So it's pretty much uh, all done. I'm going to do some dry brushing on the bottom to weather it up a little bit. A few decals to put on. I'm not going to use too many of the decals. As I said before, they seem to have a lot of carrier film around them. And as I cut closer to the uh, edge of the actual decal. So I'm just getting the trim pieces on now. The, uh, the air, filter, air breather cap here and the wheels and tires, the door handles, mirror, windshield wipers, all those chrome bits, front and rear bumper. Still a bit to do, and that's where the, uh, I guess it'd be a bit of a challenge, trying to do all that without getting glue on everything and scratching the paint. Um, but we're getting close to the end, so uh, hang in there and stay tuned. Okay, here I'm back with the final product. It's all completed. I just have to put the, uh, the hood on. Let you see the interior here. We got all the, uh, as you saw in the previous video, I got all the engine details on. I just uh, used a Molotow chrome marker around the trim, around the wheel well openings on the rocker panels as well. I did a little bit of weathering on underneath, just a little bit of dry brushing with some uh, silver or gunmetal, and then some uh, golden brown um, craft paint, to sort of dust and dirty it up a little bit. I didn't rust the uh, bottom too much this time. And uh, that's about it. Went together fairly well. And uh, again, for these side windows, I got trying to fuss, fight with the interior tub getting them in. I got glue, I guess, smeared onto the, the pan window panels. Again, if you're building this kit, I'd recommend just leaving these side window panels off altogether. It'll make the build go a lot easier and a lot cleaner. I didn't use any of the decals. I tried to put a small one on the uh, air filter cover here and uh, it, after a while it just fell off and I lost it so I won't be using the decals. I just use a red marker for and black marker for the RT on the sides and the logos and the black uh, micro marker for the 426 Hemi here on the fender. That worked out fine. They raised up enough that uh, that was uh, easy to do. I did a little bit of red, um, Tamiya red uh, signal light paint on the back uh, tail lights. Not much else. Um, 
the orange front lights here done with a marker sharpie seems to work well so I'll just install the hood to give it a brush of future and over the blue part here I won't do the the uh, vinyl roof because I want that sort of that satin finish on there you can sort of see the texture on there for that and uh, that's it stay tuned there'll be a few pictures just to wrap things up thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next build